Hey, what's up guys? So today we're gonna talk about using dual monitors with the 24 inch iMac. Um, I've been using the 24 inch iMac for the last year. I mostly use it for video editing, photography, um, using it with Lightroom and Photoshop. And it's actually, I've actually been able to get by with it pretty well. Um, recently I've upgraded to the a7 IV and I just kind of feel like it can't handle some of the video um, codec um, as good as the a7C. So I kind of go back and forth between the a7C and a7 IV, but I feel like if for most people, any camera you're using that doesn't have 10 bit is going to be perfectly fine. Um, anything you're shooting like H.264 is going to just be really good for the, the 24 inch iMac or the, um, the M1 MacBook Air. So, but for the last year I've been using this machine, it's super fast, it's, the quality is excellent. I actually really like the 24 inch monitor. I feel like it's a perfect size for most people, um, especially for any students or just anyone. I mean, all you have to really do is just bring the monitor up a little bit closer. And I feel like ergonomically, like you're gonna get um, everything you would need out of a monitor for just like basic video editing or photography or music or whatever you're doing, just like watching video or, or surfing the web. It's been really reliable. I've had just a couple of times when it's failed on me and that's because I only have the eight gigabyte of memory. And so there's just been a few times when I have like Photoshop and DaVinci Resolve open and maybe some other program and then sometimes it will it's crashed on me a few times. So I just had to make sure I don't have a ton of programs open at the same time. So what is it like uh, using this monitor with a secondary monitor? So I recently, I, I found on eBay uh, the 27 inch ultrafine monitor is the 5k it works super seamless and i just decided to use the 27 inch as like a primary monitor and then use the the 24 inch imac as a secondary monitor because it's a 5k display it has really good colors i mean it's pretty accurate it's just as good as having a 27 inch imac and i did kind of miss like having that and i did kind of miss a little bit having the 27 inch monitor as just having a larger monitor and I thought it would be cool to just kind of see how it does. And after using it, I did think that it works really good as a secondary display or using the iMac as a secondary display. But I really do think that two 24 inch monitors are probably gonna be a little bit better. Um, even though the 27 inch monitor is about the same size as the 24 inch iMac. But I feel like two 24 inch monitors is just going to be a little bit better because it just i feel like it just fits better on the screen and as an ergonomist like uh i i feel like if you have a 27 inch monitor and then a secondary monitor you're always going to be turning your head quite a bit and that can cause neck strain and other problems um so i think i feel like it's just kind of best to to, to stick with the 24 inch monitor because I think it's just a better size in general. And I know a lot of people use, use dual displays for 27 inch monitors, but I think it's just, you're turning your neck too much. So in general, the 24 inch iMac is, I feel like it's perfect ergonomically um, for like a monitor for video editing, for photography. And if you have two 24 inch monitors, I feel like it's even better. Now, currently I, I'm using the LG Ultrafine 5K monitor. I got it off eBay for about $500. Um, I, it actually seems to be working pretty well. Some of the plastic at the bottom of it is just, uh, it's a little bit bent, but you don't really notice it, especially because it's at the bottom. And I feel like it doesn't really change anything um, you know, just with viewing the monitor. But you'll be able to notice it in some of the B-roll. If you look at the bottom of the screen, you'll just notice the, the black line is a little bit um, wider. Um, so that's the only flaw that I've seen with it so far. It also comes with an OWC cable, which I feel like has been really good. Um, it's really long, it's powerful, it's a thick cable, and, uh, and I feel like if you buy one of these LG Ultrafine monitors, I've heard that the standard cable isn't that good. So I would definitely uh, recommend getting an OWC cable for about $25. Now, my first impressions using this new LG Ultrafine monitor is it really made me miss using the 27 inch iMac. So I originally I had the 27 inch iMac and I, you, you might say upgrade, you may say downgrade to the 24 inch iMac. So I went from this 27 inch 
5K screen to the 24 inch iMac. And I felt like it wasn't that huge of a change for me. But now after using the 24 inch iMac for about a year and upgrading to this 27 inch screen, I definitely notice a difference. Um, I just, I guess I kind of like that the icons are larger. Um, I've noticed a few other things that are larger, but when I'm viewing like pages, I probably use the same size as that I would use with the 24 inch iMac. So it's not like a huge difference. Another thing about the LG Ultrafine is it's way outdated. It's definitely not as good as the new studio display monitor that Apple is selling right now, but I didn't want to dish out the $1,500 because I feel like that's ridiculous for, you know, something that's a third the price and is pretty much just as good as that studio display. So, and I also didn't realize that this 27 inch monitor, it has speakers and they're actually quite good. It has a camera that's, I mean, it's pretty terrible, but it's a camera. And I feel like for me, like I don't really need that good of a camera. And so it, it really is the same thing as the studio display. It might just not look as cool and it probably doesn't have as good of speakers and there might be like a few other things, but for the most part, you're getting a lot of um, like the best bang for the buck because you're you're getting those four USB-C ports on it, just like the studio, a studio display. Now, those USB-C ports on the back are not gonna give you as, um, they're not gonna be as fast. Like I'm not gonna be plugging in my hard drive because I've already noticed that the, the hard drive speed is a lot slower plugging it into this monitor than how, if I had it just plugged into my MacBook Pro um, or my iMac. Now, if you use the USB-C ports on the back of this, you just need to realize that it's gonna be a lot slower. So I'm mainly using this for like charging ports or just uh, other ports that aren't as important. So I, I right now actually have it connected to my Evo 4 and then I, I can connect it to charge my keyboard and mouse, but I'm not using it uh, for my hard drives just because it's so much slower than directly plugging it in to the iMac. Another thing I noticed about this display is it is really glossy. And I wanna say that it's a lot glossier than the 24 inch iMac and other Apple displays I've seen. So you're gonna get a ton of reflections with this thing. So if you have windows like I have here, like you're definitely gonna notice it. And then one other thing to mention about this monitor is it is so seamless with Apple computer computers. You just plug it in, it turns on automatically, it wakes with your keyboard or your mouse, and you can you, you can use it with a laptop, with your laptop closed, or you can use it with the iMac, and all you have to do is just press a button on the keyboard and, and you're pretty much logged into the computer. And then you can also change the display. You can make it darker, dimmer, brighter, just by simply pushing the buttons on the keyboard, which I feel like this is such an awesome feature that every Apple computer has. One thing to notice is if you use the mouse to wake the computer, it is a little bit slower than if you were just using the iMac, um, but it's just like an extra one and a half seconds, so it's not that big of a deal. What are the display differences between the 27 inch and the 24 inch? I'm gonna say the LG Ultrafine is, it's not quite as bright, as the 24 inch. I know they're actually both 500 nits and I don't know if it's because I just have an older display, but I have noticed that it's slightly dimmer than the iMac, but that doesn't really matter to me because I never use my screens um, maxed out with as bright as, as possible. I usually have them like three quarters or half the way um, for brightness. So th that's not something that like really appeals to me anyway but I did notice that it's not as bright as the, the iMac. And I also did notice a slight green tint with this monitor, but it's not something that you would really notice unless you compared it side by side. But if you need like super accurate uh, color calibration, I would recommend like purchasing a tool so you can calibrate this correctly because there is like a little bit of a green tint and I felt like the grays on the iMac were much more gray, whereas the 27 inch LG is just a little bit on the green side. Okay, so here are my thoughts on setting this monitor up as a dual monitor with the iMac. So what I did is I put the LG Ultrafine directly in front of me, and then I put the iMac off to the side at about a 15 degree angle. So it wasn't angled that much, just about 15 degrees 
from being completely straightly lined up with the LG. And I actually felt like this setup was really good. I started using it on DaVinci Resolve and I just feel like it was super easy to be able to navigate. Um, but the only thing is I just kind of felt like I'm still turning my neck quite a bit using the two monitors. And I, I feel like that could definitely cause some problems with strain, especially for anyone who has neck problems. And it's probably not the best for long-term use. So I would really recommend that, you know, two 24 inch monitors, I feel like is the way to go. Another thing I, I really liked about the two monitors is the 27 inch is, it works really good with the 24 inch iMac because it's the same height. Like if you look at them side by side, they're they're almost identical in height. Now the width, it's way longer than the iMac, but the, it's really nice that it's the same height because it kind of pairs like perfectly when you put them side by side with the 24 inch iMac. And one thing that's important when setting up these monitors is you can put them both together and have the center line in the middle um, if you end up using both displays about the same amount of time. But for me, when I do video editing, I mainly look at one display and then some of the time I look at the second display. So that's why I wanted the 27 inch as my primary monitor. And then I just use the iMac just at a 15 degree angle to the side so I could glance on it on occasion um, as my secondary display. And this is awesome if you're doing, you know, if you're doing research and you need to glance at one monitor and then um, type on your primary monitor, I feel like that's the way to use it so you're not constantly turning your neck back and forth. And I really think there's something to say about having two monitors. It just makes you more efficient and more productive in what you're doing. Another thing you're gonna need to know about these two monitors is you're gonna need a large desk. So if you have a 27 inch and a 24 inch monitor, you're gonna need about a 46 inch desk, which is about four feet. So just plan on getting a larger desk because you're definitely gonna need it with two monitors. And if you decide to go with 27 inch monitors, you're gonna need an even larger desk. But for two 24 inch monitors or the setup I have a 27 inch and a 24 inch, I feel like a four foot desk is around like a large enough desk space that will be sufficient for what you need. All right, so my recommendations are, I would say, I think this setup is actually pretty good, but it does increase your neck strain. And so I definitely would say go with two 24 inch monitors. Um, LG makes a great, um, another great monitor It's the 24 inch ultra fine that's 4k now the only problem with this monitor is it doesn't have as much um, pixels per inch as the 27 inch 5k monitor so that actually makes your screen resolution just uh, it's going to look a little bit small or it's going to look like scaled so it's not going to look perfect like an apple computer usually is so you, you buy a 4K monitor and it ends up not looking that great. And that's the main reason why I decided to go with the 5K monitor. Now the 24 inch monitor, one thing you can do is you can downscale it to 1440p instead of 4K and you can get like that, um, that perfect pixel per inch for an Apple display. But you can also buy any other monitor like an older 27 inch cinema display and get that same screen resolution. And those you can pick up for like $200. They're really cheap. The LG monitor is great, but I feel like you can get by with something uh, a whole lot cheaper. Um, you can buy another 24 inch monitor, or you could also just, you know, use a previous 24 inch cine dis cinema display monitor. And I feel like that would be perfect for what you need um, for just having a 24 inch monitor. And in my case, when I use dual monitors, I use one monitor as my primary monitor. So I don't put them, you know, at this equal distance from myself. I always put one monitor directly in front of me and then I have a second monitor on the side. And the reason I do that is just because I'm not, I don't use both monitors equally. I use one monitor more than another monitor. So if you do use one monitor as your primary monitor, you don't really need a really good secondary monitor. And so that's why I would say if, if you have two 24 inch monitors, use the iMac 24 inch as your primary monitor, and then just use a secondary monitor that's not as good of quality because you're not really gonna need that quality um, if you're only looking at it occasionally. 
Now, if you want to have them um, calibrated, you can do that, but I feel like it's not necessary to have like a retina display on both monitors. So I, I think it's completely fine just to have your main monitor as the 24 inch iMac and then a second monitor as, you know, just the monitor to kind of help you be more efficient if you're doing research or video editing and you just don't need that monitor all the time. Okay, so this is my review of using dual monitors with a 24 inch iMac. I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.